Sinop, the wheelhouse of Turkey. All beautiful cities have been built on the most beautiful coasts of the seas, on the unique treasures of ancient ages. They are the cities of love, freedom and history. You are not regarded as a stranger to them even if you haven't seen them. They have been waiting to be discovered. Sinop is your city with its untouched base, its sharp peninsula stretching through the mountains, and its companionable people. It is the city of peace. Sinop is the most peaceful port when you are tired of life. It guides you in pursuit of wheel of house of Turkey. It is the most peaceful port when you are tired of the past, love and freedom. Who knows whether it may be because it was settled along a peevish coast on the northernmost tip in Jeburun waits for the tired captains by keeping its lighthouse on with a benevolent tranquility. The North Star accompanies the lights of the city in the sky. Who knows whether in the nature of the city are there the mysterious virtues of the woman who gave her name to the city. The legends tell us it is named after an Amazon called Sinope. No city of the world offers you an untouched peace in such good manners as the unspoiled beauty of Bostepe Peninsula, which suddenly appears through the foggy mountains. Two natural bays, the gifts of the god to the city of Sinop, draw the map of the city with sharp bands over the sea. Wooden houses out of the wings of the tail fairies disperse in thin narrow stone cobbled streets in the two districts in the base. Diogenes was born in Sinop and lived with his torch in his hand in Sinop. Since then, his stories which make us smile embarrassed have been whispered in our ears. One day, the philosopher, who don't care about the worldly affairs, encountered with Alexander the Great. The famous emperor said, Ask of me any boon you like. The answer was a simple one. The famous philosopher, pondering in his barrel, replied, Stand out of my light. Since then, the demand for freedom of thought has been expressed in these words all over the world for thousands of years. The mountains stretching 175 kilometers in parallel with the coast protect the city like high ramparts to surprise the ones coming to the city by land. 
The forests, representing the diversity of the natural life in every aspect, stretch through the mountains. The untouched nature attracts with all its beauties the ones who come to the city for the first time. Where the forest finishes and the slope emerges, Inalte Cave starts at the middle of the mountain. Inalte, the famous cave of Sinop, has the fourth biggest entrance in the world. It is still unknown who made it and why it was made. Perhaps the ancient age dwellers needed mysterious shelters between forests and the mountains. Who knows whether perhaps they were shelters the nature made itself. Sinop dwellers were able to access 750 meters to the mysterious Inalti cave. 4.5 kilometers of it still remain to be discovered by the scientists. Who knows what mysterious the history holds in here. Your wonder turns into admiration with the visual feast of the nature offers. You can see such a shade of green and such docile mountains nowhere else on the earth. Abundance of wheat meets with the compassion of the nature in Sinop. Sinop has never been crossed with the earth as the civilizations haven't interrupted the beauties of the nature here. Therefore, it holds appeal generously to its guests. You can feel this in Chamgyuli Forest the best. There, you can see what a miracle occurs as long as you preserve the nature. You can encounter with another unique natural beauty in Erfelek waterfalls. There is no other example of this chain of 28 waterfalls lined up, one after another, into the same valley. What is actually left while each cascading downslope is the free explosions of the waters combined to each other through the stairs? you have to overcome its challenges to discover it. The cascades painted red slow down by meeting the sea at sunset. The nature offers the most beautiful one of what it can give us. The cascading of the free waters like a symphony. The traces of the history of Sinop are exhibited in the museum in the city center. Everything dated back to the ancient ages, being found in Sinop, waits there to be seen. Sinop is a unique bridge between today and the ancient ages for the ones interested in history. Still open entrances remaining to date from the ramparts standing like a wheelhouse at the middle of the sea rather than a castle waiting for its guests. There are the icons and heritage of Byzantium, Roman Empire, Prehistorica and Hellenistic Ages. Byzantium and Old Rome follow the relics of Serapis Temple. The mysteries of the history of humanity ensuring the continuation of cultures and religions are hidden in here.
The history of Bala Church is full of mysteries. We are not sure about what it was ages ago. Perhaps it was a theater, perhaps a bath. However, the Byzantine Greeks decided to turn it into a church when they found it, and since then it has been used as a house of God representing a divine religion. A place of worship for another divine religion is Ala Din Mosque. It represents the Muslim synop of the Seljuks to its guests. It's a typological five-dome rectangular example of Sejukit architecture. Its Shadr One, which is a kind of fountain in its courtyard, reminds us of the journey of Isfandiyar Oğulları, which is a Turkish beylik and the history. Sinop Medrese, which used to be a center of higher education in the past, hosts ayancı clothes shaped in the skillful hands of the young girls of Sinop nowadays. You can find this cloth only in Ayancık if you want to prepare a special dowry for your daughters. The Fountain of Mortuis following the Tersane Bazaar tells us a sad story from the past. This was built through the money which was gathered out of the pockets of the seamen martyred in 1853 Ottoman Russian War so that it would remind the humanity of the pains of war. The mausoleum of Seyyid Ibrahim Bilal Muhammad the Prophet's grandson, who set out to conquer Istanbul, was martyred in Sinop, waits for the guests to offer up prayers. Besides the photo of the founder of Republic of Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk's first visit after the foundation of the Republic is registered to 1928. That is the beginning of the day of alphabet reform. Pictures symbolizing this historic beginning are engraved to the memories here. Rıza Nur Library bears traces from the contemporary history. It enables researchers to access the works written in memoriam to an intellectual having such as vast knowledge as to write corpus. There are shelters for everybody in the city waiting behind the mountains. Pirates were hidden in the Bay of Hamsilos in its northwest once upon a time. The mysterious bay is also only a fjord of a marine country. The Black Sea in the Hamsilos Bay flows like a river through the green forest. And this kind of abnormalities of the nature are exceptionally rare. Boyabat Castle was included in the oldest Sinop map available in Hagia Sophia Library. It has fostered the precipitous slope of the city for thousands of years. The castle is said to have been built on a rock and to have been guarding the city for 2,600 years. It is still awe inspiring despite thousands of years. Hidden tunnels running under it are from the local legends. The narrow upright stairs mark the traces of a little-known history which dated back to Roman Empire. Tinop Terelek Sepul Press is more mysterious than all. They were built on elegant columns and they look like hidden sites rather than sepul press. The stories hidden at these historical sites stretch our imagination. Basalt columns are natural masterpieces. Although Sinop dwellers imagine that a treasure is buried, actually the secrets of these rulers governing ancient ages are buried here. The area where the prison is located is the biggest dockyard of the Ottoman Empire in the Black Sea. The prison was built in the vicinity of the dockyard in the inner Kitadel. 
It did its best for the proverbial conquest of the Black Sea by the Ottoman Empire and left many traces of its own to the history. However, late in the 1800s, when the Black Sea was taken over by other states, the dockyard was resigned and it began to be used as a famous prison nobody could escape. It is so famous that it deserved to be a museum. Today, it is the museum of the imprisoned literature and reminds us of the value of free thought. Their clothes and dowry have changed, but their weddings have never changed. They still have lively weddings with local traditions and dances. Hands of brides in red wheel are applied henna and red sackcloth is covered. It is an old custom dating from the past for Zenness. Men who masquerade as female dancers to dance in weddings. Who gives what present to newly married couple is declared in public. Bride and groom set out to their new journey with a small fortune. The heritage of women is carried to the products weaved by women, again in the handlooms, the only address of Sinop handicrafts. Sinop, dwelling women went their feelings on handicrafts, bags, rocks and tapestries. Handicrafts, clothes patterns and batteries, saddle bags, cushions, pillows and sack clothes take on meaning in the old Ayanjik houses. The more woman pattern, the more they release the mysteries in their souls. The traces of the unwritten history of women are hidden in the handicrafts waiting in the time tunnel. Only wise people know what the pattern represents. Usually nukuls, which is a kind of pie with grapes, hickory nuts, Grand meat and yogurt are made in Bayrams. They offer especially mantı, a kind of dumplings with ground meat inside, with yogurt and hickory nuts, katlama, a kind of pastry which is folded like filo dough, etli ekmek, a kind of pastry with ground meat inside in the shape of semilunar, and homemade baklava, a sweet pastry made of layers of filo dough filled with chopped nuts and sweetened with shroop or honey at their tables. Sinop dwellers learned how to make handmade knives from old masters. Knives peculiar to only Sinop decorate the shop windows. Sinop dwellers learned.